Yo, what up? What up, guys uh, and girls, everybody here at YouTube? Um, I'm going to go over a video today of how to auto-refresh the import XML formula in Google Sheets. Uh, this was a request from one of the comments on my last one uh, from Fish Market Academy. It says, awesome, could you do a quick tutorial on how to auto-refresh it? So this was a video I made on how to use the import XML or import HTML formula in Google Sheets for CoinGecko shared portfolio. So what they want to know is how to set up a uh, auto refresh, which in Google Sheets is called the trigger. So I'm going to go over that today. So let's just go through this very quickly. Um, just as a recap, we have this sheet and let's see if we make it a little bigger. Um, in this cell, we have this formula. It says import XML and it's got all this stuff in it. Okay. This uses b1 which is this cell okay it goes to that url and then pulls all this information from it all right so in order to get this to auto refresh you can um i'm assuming you don't want to do it yourself but you could just you know delete you could copy this and then delete the cell and then paste it back in let it load and it'll pop back up but i love automation so i don't want to have to do that so what you can do is you can set up a macro or you can do something called a an app script which is something that's connected to google sheets and um, i initially created one with a macro so if you go to extensions macros i have one called coin gecko shared portfolio so all that means when you do a macro you go to macro record macro and then basically whatever you do with your keyboard it will record the actions and then you can repeat them so um, what i'd like to do is show you how to do that so let's go to um, well i did the macro let's go to extensions let's go to app script that's going to open up into a new tab and this is going to be a whole bunch of stuff we don't need we uh, need macros.js so this is created when you do a macro and it just creates this so this is a function it basically tells google sheets what to do so what I did is I did my macro and it created this automatically. So just, um, I'm not an expert at this stuff, but I know that it calls this sheet. So coin gecko shared. So if I go back, we see that this sheet is called coin gecko shared. And then let me make this a little bigger. Uh, and then the range is a two. So if we look at a two, a and two, so it's going to do that range, just that cell. And then it's going to clear everything that's in there. It's going to flush the spreadsheet. This I found was important because if you don't do this, it doesn't auto, always auto refresh. And then I have range that set formula, uh, which is the thing that I copied and pasted in there earlier, just a second ago. So this is all you need. Um, and you can mess around with this if you want to change the range. I find that it's best for me to do the macros because I'll get into the weeds of do an app script for hours and try to stay away from that. So um, so here's what you do. You get this function. Uh, this does basically what I did, which is delete it and paste it back in. And then after you're ready, you can test it with the run. So if I go back here, you can see it's all there. If I click run, go back, it refreshes. Okay, that's basically the action. It tells you execution started, execution completed. Uh, the magic in this is when you come over here to triggers. So click on triggers. This is the one I've created. So all I did was go to add trigger and fill this stuff in. I'm gonna to go to mine so you can see exactly what I did to set it up. So you're gonna choose which function to run. And that was the coin gecko shared portfolio. You can find that by going back to the code and seeing what this is called, coin gecko shared portfolio. You also, if you have multiple, it'll have an option here. I have mine just by itself. Okay, so we go back to here. Uh, so you're going to pick that function. I just leave it on head and here's where you need to select time driven. I think the default is from spreadsheet. We want time driven and then I do mine hourly. Uh, the thing about this is if you don't have like an upgraded um, Google Apps plan, I think they have like some other you can ha upgrade your account. Uh, you only get so many of these. And so I have mine every hour because I like to save my executions for other stuff. So if I want to use a different sheet. Um, I'm not going to run into a limit. You can do a minutes timer and then, you know, that'll be every minute. You can do every five minutes, 10 minutes, but for mine, I just do hourly because that's all I need right now. You don't have to worry about it. And then the other thing is on error, let me scroll up a little bit, failure notification settings. I have it notify me daily. So if there's, um, it's not a big deal for me to just check it for that day. I don't want to get an email every hour showing that it's failing. So I just have it on notify me daily. That way, if it fails, I, I know it, um, but then you can go back to the overview 
and you can see that this is the this is the container so this is the spreadsheet that it's connected to uh, how many executions were there how many errors uh, how many users so you can like do a whole bunch of stuff with this you can do versioning you can do all kinds of stuff but uh, yeah, so now every hour this gets refreshed. So when I'm looking at, and this is just a rough spreadsheet that I have for like power, um, I can see like my current nodes and then balance. Uh, and then once that changes, it'll update this current power price, uh, which it looks like I haven't even been in here for a minute. So March 14th is the last date uh, that I manually put in there. I haven't even got the details worked out on this. So anyway, um, hope this is helpful. So to, fish market academy i want to reply and say yep doing this now and the video will be public soon um reply to that and like it and i don't know what the heart is but i'm gonna do both of them a heart and like it <laughs> all right um i'm trying to get content out i'm sorry it's been i can't believe it's been a, like a couple weeks since my last video time is just flying by but um I plan to bring some really good stuff soon. I'm, I'm figuring out I'm more and more passionate about DeFi the more I talk about this stuff. So um, just trying to get in at least one video a week right now. I was trying to do daily. Apparently, I didn't do so well. But um, yeah, so I just want to I'm going to br start bringing more stuff. If you have any ideas, just do this. Leave a comment. Uh, this is, gives me ideas for content generation and, and I'll make a video about it if I can figure it out or when I figure it out. All right. Well, that's all I got for you today. Um, have a good one.